said he didn't need my help. Precision measurements. <laughs> ah, Justin swallowed Mike's arm. Hi, I'm Jo. And I'm Mike. And in this episode, we're going to install water tanks under our van. We've got two water tanks, a 70 litre freshwater tank. And a 40 litre wastewater tank. So the idea is this rod will be bolted up into the car, then that will get slotted up into the rod. Nuts will go on, one and two to lock it. The nuts on and locked. So then the tank will sit on here and be suspended underneath the car. That's how it goes in theory. See how it goes in practice. <laughs> I've managed to get six done. That'll be enough for my freshwater tank. The great thing about all this renovation work on Justin is I get to play with lots of new toys. I've got a Craig pocket hole jig, that'll be when I do the cabinets. The other thing I've got is a nut rivet gun. Oh, looks exciting. Right, a nut rivet gun uses these nut rivets to go into a hole and then they're expanded to lock them into the hole. Right, they've got a range of nut sizes from M3 up through to M10. I'm going to be using these M8s. The idea for this is I can make a hole in the chassis, insert one of these, insert my rod, and I can suspend the water tank. If you think you might need a tool like this, I'll put a link in the description below. I've just drilled a hole in the chassis for my next lock nut, but having done that, I need to spray it with Runox epoxy. It's a rust stop and primer. So there's the hole I've just drilled. So now we're going to put the rivet nut into the hole and then close this thing up. And because I'm not Tarzan or anything, I've had to put on extensions to get the leverage. Oh, how it burns. We barely started yeah. on every turn. And then unscrew it. It should be in there nice and tight. And all of my broken bones. And that's the rivet nut I just put in. That'll go up there. And I need to tighten that up, but this is the nice one. Then that goes up as a lock nut. The tank will sit in here, yeah. and the support bar will go across there. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them at an angle so it just supports a bit more of the tank. So this one's going to go, it's going to go up there. So Mike's just putting the other rods in place for his water tank suspension system. He's putting on a locking nut. Today we're going to drill a hole in the side of Justin. Poor Justin. But we can assure you, it won't hurt him. He won't feel a thing. No, he's got nerves of steel. He does. He might so funny. We're going to drill a hole in here for our water inlet. But where the center of the hole's going to be, there's two marks there. Change where it's going to go. Is it going to go in the higher one? Because it's going to go in the higher one. Because this is going to overlap. Are you going to be able to open your door? Is it going to catch? Well, all right. Uh, if, you're, if you're happy with that. I'll go down there then. Go down there, make sure it doesn't overlap. I'll go down there. It's down, back down there. Okay. <laughs> I put the drill precision back. measurements. So we change the position of where it's going to go, but I need to put. A, I haven't got a centre punch, but I use a hammer and nail instead. Oh God, there's lots of little holes now. Oh, shut up. Okay, so Mike's already drilled the pilot hole. He's got some tape on there ready, and yeah. now we're going to go for it. Hey! Oh no! Ow! Stop! Help! Wow, that was freaky. Oh my god. So, there's a hole. There we go. Cool. That's exciting. So, so Mike's cut the hole. Justin didn't feel a thing. Really? And he's just going to get some Brunox and spray it to stop it from rusting. Then we'll just probably have to wait for that to dry and he's going to drill some holes and put our cap in. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. So Mike's just putting some little guide holes in. <laughs> The first attempt of putting in my filler pipe was a disaster. The pipe we got was just too rigid, just would not bend around the corners as we wanted. Ah, 
Justin swallowed Mike's arm. <laughs> Justin, give it back. Don't be mean. It's not going to go in. That needs to come down. Yeah, no. Don't yell at me. Put it on YouTube and everyone will see you yelling at me. Nothing ever goes as planned. You got a problem, you can meet me out back. Look, I don't mean to be. So yesterday we had a bit of trouble getting the water filler cap into our hole. This flexible hose is a bit rigid. It's not flexible. It's <laughs> not flexible at all. So Mike's coming up with a solution. I'm going to use some of this piping here, which is flexible, and use that to provide the bend to get down in the angle. So I've changed to this flexible piping, which I've now thread it through okay. It was a lot easier than trying to get that other stuff through yesterday. It was, it went in dead easy. Yeah. Uh, the only thing is that to fit this fitting to yep. that pipe, as yep. we showed down at this end, they're the same sizes. Oh, did you get the wrong one? No, I didn't get the wrong one. Oh, That's okay. the size I wanted. This yeah. adapter. He does know what he's doing. <laughs> stuck this adapter over the pipe. Yep. And this will just sit down inside it. And oh, push down okay. and clip inside it. Oh, that's clever. The thing to do now is to thread the air vent back through. Yep. Which I took out yesterday because I was in a mood. <laughs> so I've got to thread that back in. Then this will be ready to go in. Goes down in there. I go down underneath. So Mike's just feeding the breather pipe through. Lucky Justin's quite high, he's quite easy to work under, isn't he, really? Yeah, it's not too bad at all. At least go up there, at least go on there. That will go back in there. A little lockable cap to go on there to stop people peeing in our water tank. Perfect. Well done, Mike. As I find with any five minute job and a van takes two days. I think that was three days. <laughs> Who's counting? <laughs> this is our sender unit. As the water level rises up, it forms an electrical circuit and it will send a signal up to our display unit inside the van. So I need to insert these into my water tanks. If I put it into my 20 mil hole that I drilled earlier, it goes in, curves round and sits in there. Get a pair of pliers, I'm going to hold that bit there so it doesn't turn around because I need it down to the bottom. As I tighten this up, it's compressing a rubber collar that's in there which will expand and fill the hole. Is it all tightened up, screwed down and tightened up? That's not going to move and it shouldn't leak. This will now get threaded up inside the car and go up to our display unit which display the level of the water in the tank. On the water tanks, we've got the sender unit. This cable has got to come up inside the van. I found a hole. A hole? <laughs> that goes through. And I thread it through a cord and I've tied it itself together so it's one continuous loop. So what I'm going to do is take that to that cord, put it up through. And I'm going to leave the cord in place because I'm going to have to do the same for the wastewater tank. Okay, that's very clever. So it saves me having to put a cord through twice. That's very clever, Mike. I told you Mike was clever. Thinking of what you've got to do. I've got to fit this hose onto there. It's silly having all this waste. So what I'm going to do is going to move the tank just underneath yeah. where it's going to go, cut the pipe to length, and then there'll just be a bit of slack left if I need to drop the tank again in future. Oh, things are happening. So Mike's just trying to get his bracket on. He's got the other ones on, I think. Yeah. This is what the water tank's going to sit on. Up here, I've put the support brackets in ready for when I do the lift of the tank. I'm not quite there yet, so I'll see what I have to do first. I've got some butyl rubber strips here. They're going to go between the tank and the chassis, where it touches, and between my support bars and the tanks. Just so if there's any rubbing, it's not metal against the tank. I've cut my pipes ready. Just a case of putting on a Jubilee clip. You see it? Because you're filming, it's not going to work. That's the water in it on. Now the breather valve. This hose was a little bit too fat to go in there, so I've inserted a bit of plastic tubing in there. That's sat in tight, that's locked in tight. So, just putting that on. Screwing it up. He said he didn't need my help. I think he knows what he's doing. Just 
putting the rubbers in now underneath to stop it chafing. Try to straighten that out a bit. As I tighten the nuts up on the understays, it will actually push the tank up and hold it in there tight. That should hopefully come back together. Oh, is that your bit? I don't want that going back round again. Alright. So that's that. That pulls in up there now. So that's it. Water tank is in. Whew, that was a, few, a pretty hairy few days, wasn't it? Yep. So let's just have a quick look at it. There we go. Solid as, not moving anywhere. We're not going to do the wastewater tank yet because first of all we have to install a diesel heater. Yay! Get some heat in the van. So, Ooh. so hopefully that'll be our next episode if all goes well. We have had a leak in our Max fan that we installed Shh, last week. I thought week. you weren't going to tell them that. So Mike's trying to fix that at the moment. So hopefully we can look at that today. Until next time, stay safe. Have fun. And be happy. Can you smack it?